Hey guys, it's Megan E.B. and welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been way too long. I recorded one not too long ago, but my computer is on the fritz. So I'm sending it off and I'm gonna be doing this on my phone. So it's gonna be kind of like, we'll see how it goes. But I figured let's do a holiday get ready with me. So yeah, you can see like my hair is like still wet and everything, oh my God. So um, stay tuned if you wanna see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera. Um, so whenever you come back, they'll be done. My eyebrows are done. I went ahead and did this part of my face, at least this eye. That way you can see what we're gonna do on this eye. And you know I love my ride or die eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. Anyways, I'm gonna coat that on my lid. Now I'm just gonna take a finger and pat it out. For our shadow, we're going to be using the Huda Beauty, the new nude palette. We're gonna go in with the color Teddy and use a fluffy brush. In our crease. I'm going to put most of the color right into the crease of my eye, like right in the corner, and then work it to kind of all over. So you want the majority of your color to be right here, and then work it over because the colors will move and blend with this brush. And it's just harder to blend it out whenever you put the majority of it right here, so always start right here. It kind of elongates your eye, brings up that eye to where you get like that almond, that upturned almond shape. So I'm just doing circular motions back and forth. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush with the color Raw. And basically you're gonna make a C shape in the crease of your eye. So again, you want the majority of your color right here, so we're gonna start here, bring it down into your lash line, and then up and over. Therefore creating a C shape. Just take that brush and now you're just gonna blend it. And again, you're just using the back and forth circular motions that we used before. And it doesn't have to be super perfect because you're just gonna go right back over it with your bigger blending brush to kind of soften it up. But you just want the smaller blending brush to place that color so you have more, um, you have more concentration of that color right there. Now I'm taking my bigger blending brush and I'm just gonna go over that and blend it. Just to medley all of our colors. And again, we're not going super crazy dark because we want our lips to kind of stand out mostly. And again, I'm kind of bringing it upwards. So start here, but then just don't forget to blend it outwards. Because it's all about faking what you have. <laughs> we're gonna catfish everybody. Everybody. Don't like the way you look? Makeup. Lips too small? Filler. Too many wrinkles? Botox. Catfish everybody. That's all. That's what it's all about. Now I'm taking a regular shadow brush in the color Fantasy. And I'm mostly doing like padding motions. And not going too far over because we don't want to mess up our blending that we did. So you can either use a different shadow brush or you can use the same one, just knock off the color. But I'm going to use the color Crave. 
and I'm gonna go underneath my brow and kind of right in the corner of my eye to kind of blend all your colors together. And I'm going super light-handed because I don't want to mess up my blend right underneath my eyebrow. And now I'm going to take that color and kind of put it right in here just to bring lightness to my inner corner. Now that that is all done, we are going to use Pretty Vulgar, the ink eyeliner, and a liner brush by Real Techniques. A lot of people will try to do like a pencil and put it on that way, but it always works better if you saturate your brush with the product and then kind of do like small dashes on the side of the brush. Okay, so now for lashes. What I'm using is Angel Samples Isabel Lashes. I'm getting right up in the mirror with some handy dandy tweezers. I'm gonna put these bad boys on. So like, get your mirror, get real close, and put them on. Ooh. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. So it's placed, now you want to be able to like kind of put it where you want it without messing it up. Voila, now that your lashes are on, I'm taking Monsieur Big by Lancome. And I'm using the mascara to blend my natural lash in with the fake lash. Because again, like I said, it's all about catfishing. We don't want people to know that our lashes aren't this thick and this beautiful. We want to keep everybody guessing. So now for underneath, what we're going to do is to take your small blending brush kind of knock off some of that color. You're going in with the first color that you used, Teddy, and you're going to go right underneath your lash line. You're going to use the color Raw, and you are going to literally just kind of smoke it out in your bottom lashes. And again, start heavier on the, on the side and work your way over. Move the color over. Place it, then work it. Now kind of knock that color off onto your hand, onto clothes, onto whatever. You're going to take the color Crave with the same brush. And you're going to put it in the inner corner and kind of bring it up into where we did before. And what it's doing is just bringing more light to the inner corner of your eye and make it bigger. Again, we're tricking people. Okay, and for some of you, this might be enough. And this is where you're just gonna stop the video, fast forward it to where we start to do the rest of the face. But if you're a little extra like me, we're gonna add a little sun. sun. So this palette is nifty because it comes with glitter. We're gonna take the color Infatuated with our small little brush. We're gonna pack some glitter on there. And we're gonna pack it on our lid like we did on this eye. And I say, why not go all out? If you're gonna wear glitter, if you're, if you're scared to wear glitter, this is your time because it's the holidays. And what doesn't say holiday like glitter? Nothing. 
bringing it under just to kind of add a little bit more, just to bring the whole look together. I'm about to add some more on this side. Mm, why are you playing? Now you're just gonna add your mascara to your bottom lash. Okay, so now for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use Becca Cosmetics Aqualuminous Perfecting Foundation. I literally got this at Marshalls for like 13 bucks and it sells for like, I don't know, like 40, but it's great. I love it. It has a little bit of shimmer, um, just enough to not make you look like you were a teenage mess, but it gives you enough dew to make you look luminous and natural. I focus mainly on the center of my face because that's where most people's discolorations are, like redness, my birthmark, you know. So, again, makeup is going to spread, start in the center, and spread it out. Don't forget to get your neck, because if you're like me, my neck is seriously like a bajillion shades lighter than the rest of my body. Now I'm going to use NW20 MAC Select Cover Up. I'm not bringing it all the way up to my eye just because I don't want to mess up my blended under eye, but I want some lightness under my eye to bring more attention to the eyes. And with the little bit left over that I do have on my brush, I usually take it to the center of my forehead, kind of hit where the high planes are of my face. Okay, so for powder, I'm using Pretty Vulgar. Just want to really set my under eye. And now I'm just going to use a fluffy brush just to brush all over my skin, just to set that powder, I mean, just to set that foundation in place. Because I plan on dancing I plan on parting it up and I don't want my foundation to melt off my face. So, set it with a powder. I'm going in with Hoola by Benefit to contour my face. It literally is like the perfect contour because it has no shimmer to it and just warms up your face. And I literally want to look like I have not been eating in like two weeks in preparation for this Christmas party. All right, so for my brows, I'm going to go in with Brow Gal. It's to kind of um, brush up these brows so that they're also in place from when I'm slaying the dance floor. You feel me? Can't be out there dancing, doing the Cupid Shuffle with half your eyebrow on. It's got to stay on. It's got to, got to lock it in place. So for blush, I'm just gonna use Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush. Anyways, I'm using just a pink blush and I'm just gonna hit the high planes of my cheeks. So I kinda like put it here and then just work it up. Ugh, and then I'm just perfectly flushed. So now for the lips, I say go all out for your holiday party because it is a holiday party. When else are you gonna be able to experiment with red lips? I say do it now. We're gonna use Cherry Lip Liner by MAC. To line your lips. And I like to overdraw mine just a smidge, just let you know. Now that your lip liner is in place, 
Now you can add your lipstick. Basically lip liner is what's gonna hold your lipstick in place. It's not gonna feather up into like your lips and you look kind of crazy and then it makes you look older than what you are. Trust me, it's get, get a good lip liner. We're gonna go in with Enmo Cosmetics. Runway Red. I really do like this red lipstick. I think it is like so bomb. It's really pigmented, hydrating, and it smells good. It gives you like a little bit of like a tingly feeling. Voila, stop right there. If you are not about some more glitter, you can just be like, we're done, we're good, this is your basic look, but I want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to add some glitter to these fantastic lips. So this glitter is by Pat McGrath. It's so pretty. Watch and learn. I'm just going to take a shadow brush to apply it with. I mean, you cannot tell me that glitter lips is not bomb. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Pat McGrath. I mean, hell, just go to like the craft store and get some glitter. It's gonna stick to your lipstick no matter what because your lipstick is gonna be a little glossy-ish. So don't use a matte lipstick whenever you're doing this. And then how about that? A trick to not get lipstick on your teeth, do this. All right, so that is your finished makeup look. I'm gonna fix my hair. So now that your hair is dry and it's brushed out, I separate my hair into like, I don't know, I just separate it. And then I just take a clip, clip it up, take my Impulse Finishing Spray, and I spray that on that section. Brush it out. Bring it on the two sides. So you're gonna curl away from your face. So center it, these two sides, this side's gonna be this way, this side's gonna be this way. Your clip is gonna be on top and curling it just away from your face. Go down. And then I tend not to get the ends in the clip. I just leave the clip the ends out because it gives more of like a beachy wave. And you're constantly kind of toggling on on the the finger trigger so it doesn't give you creases. So start up top, bring it in, twist, toggle, 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 twist, toggle, 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 twist, and then out. Curl away. And it's all just about your hand placement. And then I don't have the end in, and then I'm just gonna let go. So I don't know, this is just how I curl my hair. One section is curled. Go to the next section. The brand of curling iron I usually use is the Hot Tools. They have great customer service. Always stick with Hot Tools. I always put it to the highest setting. And I tried not to use a lot of heat on my hair. So this look, I literally let my hair mostly air dry and then just kind of got the hair dry just to kind of get at the base of my head where it was still a little wet. But my hair is so long and if I blow dry it too much, then it gets really damaged looking. And 
and I really don't know like I mean it's a protector um, that I'm spraying in my hair but I mean Brooke Moon could tell me to put like horse snot on my hair and I'd be like okay girl all right whatever you say this is a one inch I believe curling iron See that cowlick right there? I'm going to try to get smooth that out. So I'm going to come up here. I'm just kind of do, oh, you got me. Just kind of do one of these numbers, just kind of smooth it out, and then go into curling. All right, so now, not that the top is very much different, but it kind of is. So I've got lots of cowlicks. Girl, you just looking rough. Rough as hell. All right, so this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're working with. God bless this hallelujah. Bless. Praise Jesus. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this work. Just kidding. I make it work every day. I'll get my part straight. Girl. Okay, so for like my top little bang pieces, I kind of want it to be have like this, where it's a little dramatic. So I'm going to come from up top. So I'm going to come this way and curl away. Just to kind of give it a little bit more of a dramatic, ooh, I don't even know if that works or not. But from what I have gathered, from my experiences with curling my own hair, this is what works for me. Look, she's beautiful, ain't she? And then for the rest of it, I'm going back to normal. But I have the cowlick, so I gotta try to like smooth the shoes out. You feel? Whew. All right, so now you got your curls in place. Do a little spray over if you want with some camera. But you don't have to. I'm just kind of doing this because what else? Now I'm going to flip her over. And I'm running my hands through it. Flipping it over this way. Getting her over here. Same thing on this side. And voila, you are Christmas party ready. Thanks guys for tuning in to my video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Hopefully you're Christmas party ready now.